Biodiversity has been studied at world level, national level and local level. It is different at all these levels. The places like Amazon and India as well as most of the Asian countries have very high biodiversity. Actual distance of a century from the equator, its latitude and longitude are important factors to decide biodiversity at national and local level. All these aspects have been discussed in this film. Various organizations connected with biodiversity at various levels have also been given. Global level This includes the study of biodiversity at world level. Biosphere of globe has about 30 million species out of which only 1.4 million have been named. Species found in remote areas where man could not reach have not been studied. Biodiversity is governed by distance from equator, latitude and longitude of a place. In general, the global biodiversity is classified in the following regions. Oriental region. This includes India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Borneo, Sumatra, Java, Bali and some parts of China. It is mostly covered by monsoon climate. Important animals are Gipton crocodile, snakes, tortoise, elephant, rhesus monkey, tiger, squirrel, fishes, nilgai and bear. Ethiopian region. It includes Africa and Madagascar. Important animals are wolf, flying lizard, snakes, gorilla, ostrich, zebra, kingfisher, vulture and chimpanzees. Australian region. It includes Australia, Tasmania and New Zealand. Important animals are antiter, sphenodon, kangaroo, owl, pigeon with gorn. Neotrophic region. It includes Mexico, Greenland, South America, Central America, South Mexico and West Indies. Important animals are Genia pig, Antiter, Armadillo vampire bat. New Arctic region. This includes Mexico and Greenland. Important animals are Armadillo, Flying Squirrel, Wild Goat, Antelope, Swan, Vulture, Rattlesnake, Coral Snake, Parrot and Pit Viper. Tropical rainforest parts of the globe have rich biodiversity. In 1983, International Union of Biological Science organized a program, Decade of Tropics. In this program, a seminar was held on species diversity and its significance. In 1988, a workshop was organized at Washington on ecosystem functions of the biological diversity. In 1991, one more workshop was organized on the topic, From Genes to Ecosystem, a Reserve Agenda for Biodiversity. Amsterdam International Union of Biological Science organized a symposium on biological diversity and global change. First Earth Summit was organized at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 1992 in which 168 countries including India participated. All these countries signed the agenda regarding biodiversity conservation. Thus effort to conserve biodiversity at global level which was started in 1983 continue even today. National level. This biodiversity is a part of global biodiversity, but it has political boundaries. Amazon Malaysia Basin, Congo Basin, Indonesia and Malaysia are the areas of rich national biodiversity. Monsoon countries are also rich countries of national biodiversity, but biodiversity of India, China and Indochina are different. 
India is a developing country and occupies 10th rank amongst the industrial countries of the world. Here, agriculture, animal husbandry, fishery, forest education cultivation of medicinal plants are given due weightage. Cultural diversity and indigenous system of medicine are helpful to maintain biodiversity. Biodiversity of India is changeable due to different geology, latitude, longitude and climate of different states of this region. Geographical area of India is 320 million hectares out of which 7000 kilometers is occupied by sea coast. Climate of India has huge range from hot climate of desert to cold climate of Himalayas. The average rainfall of the desert is 10 centimeters per year, while that of Cherrapunji is 500 centimeters per year. The area of India is 2% of the global area, but 5% of the plants and animals are found in this nation. India has 45,000 species of plants and 68,371 species of animals. As per the data given by Botanical Survey of India, the number of species of bacteria, fungi, plants and animals described from India is 1,8276. Bacteria 850, 0.8. Fungi 23,021.2. Algae 2500, 2.3 Bryophyta, 2564 Tendophyta, 1022, 0.9 Gymnosperms, 64, 0.1 Angiosperms, 15,013.9 Insect, 53,430, 49.3 Mollusca, 5050 4.7 Pisces 2546 2.4 Amphibia 204 0.2 Aves 1228 1.1 From this chart it is clear that amongst plants gymnosperms are the least in number Actually this group dominated in Mesozoic era about 6 million years back because climate at that time was suitable for them. This shows that climate is an important factor to decide biodiversity of species. Amongst animals, reptiles account to the extent of 4%. This group also dominated in Mesozoic era in the form of dinosaurs. Due to change in climate, all dinosaurs were fossilized. At present, the climate is proper for flowering plants and insects, hence these two groups are widely spread. Some important crop plants of the world which have originated in India and have got naturalized in the world are Rice, Sugarcane, Jute, Mango, Plantain, Lemon, Bajra and Jawar. At national level, the following organizations are working in India to protect biodiversity. Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, New Delhi Botanical Survey of India Zoological Survey of India Wildlife Institute of India GB Plant Institute of Himalayan Environment and Development and Indian Council of Agriculture Research, New Delhi Local Biodiversity Living plants and animals of a particular locality are included under local biodiversity. Local biodiversity under different climate condition is different. Thus, vegetation and animals of Thar Desert are different from those of Himalayan region. Sundarban and Andaman are well known for mangrove vegetation. 
Mangrove plants show vivipary that is germination of seed on parent plants itself so that several baby plants are seen attached to parent tree. This is a thrilling sight. Thus, biodiversity at global level, national level and local level is different. The differences are due to different geographical conditions and different climate.